Here we have a trigonometric equation we're going to go ahead and solve and we have a domain of 0 to pi. Uh, this is a, a nice equation because it demonstrates a neat little trick you can use to simplify equations like this uh, that otherwise seem like uh, they might be difficult to simplify. So what we're going to aim for here is to use the identity, uh, the sum identity for sine, which says the sine of a plus b equals sine of a cosine of b plus uh, the cosine of a sine of b. So we want to try to simplify this equation in such a way that we can reduce it down to sine of something plus something else. The way we're going to do this is to divide through by a constant. The constant we're going to divide through by is root two. So if we divide through by root two, we get one on root two, cosine of two x plus one on root two, sine of two x equals one on root two. The reason we do this is because we know that the cosine of pi on four equals the sine of pi on four equals one on root two. That means we can introduce uh, these uh, terms for the one on root twos, and then we, we will be able to reduce this equation down. Uh, so substituting those terms, cosine and sine, in for the one on root twos, we're going to have, uh, and let's write it like this, sine of pi on four, cosine of two x, plus the cosine of pi on four, sine of two x equals one on root two. The reason we write it like that is because now we can see that uh, we can uh, reduce this down to sine of pi on four plus two x. Okay, so therefore sine of uh, pi on four or two x plus pi on four, you can write it either way, equals one on root two. Uh, and this is an equation we can solve. Before we proceed to find the solutions, let's first adjust our domain. So we know the original domain was zero to pi. Um, so the domain for two x plus pi on four, that's going to be pi on four to two pi plus pi on four. Okay, um, so we need to find all of the solutions in that domain before we find the solutions for x. Okay, so I like to draw, at this point I like to draw a unit circle and then find all my solutions on that unit circle. Uh, so what we're going to have here, we know the, the uh, exact value for sine of, sine of something equal to one on root two is pi on four. So we know therefore our reference angle is pi on four. Okay, so let's draw that in. Pi on four. And we are going to have all the solutions where sine is positive. So that's in the first and second quadrants. All right. And this angle to the second point there is three pi on four. Pi take pi on four. So three pi on four. And in this domain, we're going to have three solutions, right? Uh, so the first point at pi on four, the second point at three pi on four, and then we actually go around again to two pi plus pi on four. As the inequalities specify, it's less than or equal to. Okay, so we are including that in the domain. Okay, so then we can go ahead and find all of our solutions. So we have pi on four plus two x equal to pi on four, three pi on four, and uh, two pi plus pi on four, which is nine pi on four. And then we can solve for x. So two x is going to be zero, uh, three pi take pi on four is pi on two, and nine pi on four take pi on four is two pi. And then dividing by two, we get x equal to zero uh, pi on four and pi. And they are our solutions for the domain we're given. Okay, hope you liked that problem. Hope you found that instructive and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.